Hello everyone, giving you a quick overview of the Lore 13.5 um, Brand new orange, well it's not brand new anymore So let me start from the front This is the 3 cam front hatch Which is very very watertight um, Just came back from BTB A little bit of water came in the hull And very little water actually gets in the hull at all This is basically from when I open the hatch out in the water And whatever drips in Hull is actually basically bone dry right now, other than what drop, drop drips in from the front here. Right. The cutting board, right, with a little ice for storage right now. I don't have the cooler insert in here as yet. Um, it's supposed to be coming out in a month or two from now, which I will be using very much. It is well sealed, but it does get water inside, and I'll show you why. When you flip the top open, Water does roll in over inside and partially because it has a drain plug right here, water will splash up into the inside and it's a little bit of a lip so it doesn't drain all the way back out. Next, the sonar pod. Mounted a garment on top of it. Obviously, it's not going to work the way it should when it's on land out of the water, but this is a very, very, very easy install. What I love about it is that you just grab it, pull it all out. Transducer. Battery inside, it's got a bit of weight to it. Once again, this itself is not watertight. But if you go, we're gonna put a battery in it, then I'll put it at the right bottom. I'll show you in a minute. Put it in a little dry bag or something. Up the floor. Right. Flashes, opens up. Put a battery in a little dry bag. There's a shelf that comes with it. Alright, to keep your battery up off the very bottom of it. Uh, I didn't tie up the wires very neatly, but it's tied up neatly enough, so I just have to drop the top back down and close the latches. And that's it. Pull it out, put it back in, drop it in, take it out fairly quickly. Your mandatory standing strap. Since I'm out in open water a lot, I don't use it very, very often, but when I do, it's great. Right, the leash. I'll show you the pedal and rudder system. Um, foot pegs, which are fairly easily adjusted. Lift, pull, lift, push back forward, lock it down. And one thing I will tell anybody who gets a lure, do get the rudder. But also very much make sure you adjust the foot peg positioning. They must be exactly in line with each other. Or else it needs to get very, very sticky and the rudder can turn very easily. The obligatory gravity seat. Uh, right now it's up. I don't know if I can do it with camera in my hand, but let's give it a try. I didn't lock it down either. Drops. Alright, lift it back up again. Just literally, you don't have to hold that. Just grab your hand underneath. And the other hand. Just pull it up. It comes right up. Once again, I don't have it locked down. Oh. There you go. Right up. It's actually much easier when actually sitting on it. Um, this is the water mount from PC Power Yaks. Um, extra rod holders. Um, I've got a Haswing and Min Quarter Power Center with a 105 amp hour battery. Um, so far, I've gotten about five miles out back in using that, but only in open bay, I would not dare try that actually to be 
but a lot of times I just leave this on mostly because I've got a pair of rod holders and it keeps it out of the water. Rather than with the stock rod holders where at least when I'm BTB I get a lot of water splashing actually hitting the reels. Um, brand new ice meal cooler. They came in here locally in Trinidad. Um, pretty cheap. And somebody brought them in, grabbed it off the room for the same price you guys pay in the States. And I don't want a crate or a dry box or something like that in the back. I had the Vittles Vault. I still have it. use it once in a while. But the reason I'm trying stuff like this is because wind resistance. Um, more likely the ice mill cooler. Much, much lower profile. Much less wind resistance. Um, when the gravity seat is down, it's pretty easy to paddle. But when it's up, and I'm up higher out of the the kayak, I do notice a huge difference in um, paddling effort needed to move forward or not. Once again, let me show you the water. Drop it down. And the rudder system for it. Um, won't see it from the back. Pull on that. Go to your side. What's easier when you're once again in the kind of itself. Drain plug. Everybody wants to see this. This is the wheel in the queue. Got some sand in it to be so it'll roll. I have to take it off and clean it out a bit. Make it feel spin freely again. The other side of the piece of power, yeah. Um, it's just a stainless steel, very good quality stainless steel. Well, didn't drop it, did. Two rod holders. Another side of the ice mold cooler fits perfectly underneath it. So, I'm out in the water, I just reach around, open it up, pull it out, pull it back in. Latch it back up. If there's one fault with this cooler, I'm going to point out, it's this valve. This valve, um, they really need to make these with a higher quality one way push valve. That way, when you blow it into it, uh, it doesn't want to come back out with it on its own. Also, I'm a little worried if water gets in. I do know this is going to be a pain to dry out from the inside if it gets in through this. This is um, puts air in the space between the actual outside of the bag and there's a, a foam liner and then it's padded inside and then you've got the inside liner. And what I do also wish is that they would have a separate um, interior liner in garbage bags right now because once this thing gets slimed it's very hard to get the smell off of the inside, out of the inside. The outside washes down pretty good. The inside is not any kind of material that should hold the scent, but I just think, you know, it is fish. It's got your rod holder, your gear, adapters, the Unitrack adapters. Just screws in. Um, if you want to adjust it in the water, you will want to bring a screwdriver with you. Otherwise, um, if it just wants stationary, it stays in place pretty good. I also have ram, correct, real base amount. And the star port. I have their lighting kit just so you know, after dark, you know, you can see me. So, this is the new Lower 13.5. Quick little walkthrough. Nothing special yet. So, sure, some pictures of it out in the water. I haven't caught anything big yet. Well, what I would consider big yet. Uh, I will say this is extremely stable. Um, coming in BTB, did get hit sideways accidentally by a wave, and I was fully expecting to flip. The Lord just shook off that three foot plus wave and just kept me going straight. Thanks for watching.